unveiling of the all new Axion 9. So Axion 9, if we take a trip down memory lane, Class was the first to deliver in a front wheel assist type tractor over 400 horsepower in this sort of frame back in 2011. And if we move forward to where we are today, we're now unveiling not the facelift, but the new generation Axia 9 with up to 60% new content within the vehicle. So let's start and have a look at the machine itself. Behind me, you can see that we have a brand new cabin. Now we take the decibel level as low as 66 decibels for the operators. So the quietest cabin that you will find on the market at this sector. And when we couple that together with the new operator interface coming from Cebus uh, Connect, this gives the operator far more intuitive way to control the machine than ever before. But it's not just about the operator in the cabin. Yes, it is, but we've changed the suspension as well. So we now have a far smoother ride for the operator than ever before. And when we think about the back of the cabin, now we're going to talk about the hydraulics. We push forward to 370 litres per minute of hydraulic flow. But other nice little features come at the back as well. We now have a top link assistance ram, which means that I can lift and lower the category four top link pretty much with the palm of my hand with very little effort, which means no longer under strain when I'm coupling my implements on and off the machine as well. On the Terra Track, we now add in the opportunity to have hydraulic stabilizers as well. So this is a new feature coming with the new generation Axiom 9. But I'm going to talk about that 60% new content. And this is where we start to talk about the transmission as well. This is where we take the new vehicle drive controller coming from our colleagues in Paderborn, which provides us with the opportunity to have auto load anticipation. So the machine is constantly learning what load is coming on it and preparing for the engagement of the working load every time that you put it into work. Again though, when we look at the machine here, it's not just new content in the tractor. The TerraTrack unit takes new content as well. And you can see just a visual change first, we've changed the cover. Of course, it's a nice little visual change, but you can see here the mid rollers have changed with the see-through oil caps, the bolt-on mid rollers, and we've, opportunity, we've taken the opportunity to extend the service life, not just of the tractor, but we've pushed that to 750 hours. We also extend the service life of the track unit as well to bring it into line. So we have to visit the machine less times on farm, reducing the total cost of ownership for the customer. But today we present the Axia 9 as our first step towards level two autonomy. And with our partners like Seed, we now offer the, uh, the VCU, which we can fit onto our tractor and we will be able to run at a level two um, autonomous solution. What does that mean for the customer? Well, they can pre-plan their mission completely off-board. They can send it to the tractor and the tractor will execute the mission with somebody on board as it stands today. But what it does do as well for the operator, it gives them flexibility to interact with the machine so that they can keep a closer eye on maybe the implement that's working behind the tractor so that they can fine tune the job that's being done. But if they see something that might not have been there when the mission was planned, let's say for example, we had half an inch of rain last night, then there's a wet spot in the bottom quarter of the field. They can interact, they can move around the wet spot, but then they can let the autonomous solution take over again and just by pressing the uh, auto engage button on the C-Motion lever. So as we spoke about that 60% new content, the E&E &E architecture is a big part of that. And this gives us the future proof that we need to move towards that level four autonomous solutions, which will come in the future.